Uh, Bruce from Safari, and our media batteries have arrived uh, in just in time to go into an LC79. We're gonna show you that tomorrow. But I'm just gonna show you now how these media batteries operate. So uh, this is totally our own design. This is 30 years of experience to get the perfect uh, battery. They're 48 volt, and they also have a 12 volt pin. So this is a 48 volt. There's a mega fuse inside here, and there's a 12 volt pin with a mega fuse inside here as well. Now, the batteries are plugged together, as you see here. The handle of the one behind locks in, as you can see. And the other end of this train, this battery train, has got a negative plug on it. I've got it turning up because I've just been taking the reading on it. And then let's just turn these batteries on. So to turn these on, we just press this for one second. And the LED at the top here comes on, you can see, I'm just testing them all. And then the subsequent batteries are coming on as well. So you can see that LED flashing there. And that LED will flash down at the end one as well. So these can be stacked together up to five deep, perfect for a tunnel boot, perfect for a boat. They're IP66. So they can go in there, you can put the hose on them. And then the waterproof connector here we've got coming out of here is the can connector on it. And so the uh, box we've got in here has got the two mega fuses in. So by pushing that plug in there, everything is fused, cables come out the bottom, totally protected. But watch this, I wanna turn the whole battery string off. I hold this down for three seconds and the battery turns off and the battery turns off and the battery turns off. And I've got a pair coming out of here, pins five and six, that can remotely turn this battery off. So if you've got it in a boat, you can have that pair going to the helm station, one press of the button, three second hold, turns your batteries off. No longer having to go down into wherever the batteries are stored, trying to isolate them. Totally turns them off. Now from a safety point of view, uh, if there's a corruption on the can here, let's say, whatever may happen here on the external communication, these batteries are talking internally. I've got uh, 485 Modbus running between them. If this battery reaches over temperature or any risk at all on it, it will turn all the batteries off. So we've got a bus running in here in parallel. It'll turn them all off. Uh, incidentally, you can have five batteries plugged together in this. When the five are together, including the end plug, it's 1981 long, just under two metres long, and that can just slide into a tunnel boot. Totally fused. How good's that?